Hey, it's Wasbred. I was going to do quite a lot more testing, but this happened. This has only happened on dynamic FPS. For the most part, you can notice that FPS plus plus runs a little bit smoother. You may be able to notice a little bit more consistent performance for FPS plus plus across the board. I will add an FPS cap so you can see the difference a little bit easier. If you look at the timeline, you're going to see quite a lot more stutter on dynamic FPS. From my testing, River Turner FPS cap is a lot better than emulation speed. So far, there is not a huge difference between the two. FPS++ performs slightly better, while dynamic FPS is not that far behind. I'm going to run a clip between FPS++ native and dynamic FPS, with emulation speed set to 50% on dynamic and FPS++. We're going to notice native running mostly around the 20s, that's because of the built-in triple buffered V-Sync inside of the game. You may as well be able to notice how much smoother the native timeline is. In here, dynamic FPS is performing very poorly. Around here, we may be able to notice how much smoother FPS++ timeline looks in comparison to dynamic FPS. So, from here, you can see that 30 FPS cap from River Tunnel is much smoother. So far, the FPS++ has been a lot better. Now, I'm going to do some explosion tests. you're going to see FPS++ performing better. Here I added an FPS cap with native added to the mix. You can see FPS++ is keeping up quite a lot better in here. And here native runs the absolute worst. Now we're going to take a look at the performance in the depths. And here you can see the FPS++ running slightly better than before. Sometimes you can see dynamic FPS dropping to the 20s. In conclusion, FPS++ should run better. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe.